into America to see my boyfriend and I did make it but that is a story for another day so if you do want to hear about how I got into the USA then just write it in the comments and I'll film another video kind of explaining the process and everything I went through to get here it was it was a busy time but I am back and on the YouTubes so today I'm on the way to meet a girl that I first saw on TikTok actually um, she came up on my For You page and it was the most beautiful barn I had ever seen. So I sent her a message and we've been talking since and she's kind of invited me down and I'm going to head down, meet her and hopefully film a bit of a yard tour, kind of see what it's like there. So I'm really excited because I absolutely love seeing new stables and I've never been able to go to like really big um, American equestrian centers and I just think it'll be a really nice experience and we'll get to tour it and see everything and yeah I just think it's gonna be really good fun so she lives in Magnolia Texas so that's about a two and a half hour drive for us so my boyfriend's actually driving say hi and um, we're just currently on the way so I'm just gonna vlog everything and take you along with me um, I hope you enjoy this video Please like and subscribe. We are about 30 minutes away. We're just gonna stop and get some snacks and some drinks because it's been a kind of long drive, but it's been really cool. It's really scenic. It's like the countryside and I love going through all the small towns. It's my favorite part of America, just going through all of them. It's really cool. Um, I added this because it got a little bit chilly in here because he loves the air conditioning. show you out the window see a view. Look at all these country roads. Caught up in the country. the most beautiful barn I have ever seen in my life. Hi everyone, so I'm here with Jill. This is Jill. Hello. And we are at Shadyside Farm, which is part of... Medoya Training Stables. Medoya right, right. Training Stables. And we are in Magnolia, Texas. So it's a beautiful day and we are, you know, a little bit sweaty. And we're just going to go and do a yard tour. So, Jill, take it from here. All right. <laughs> oh, Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay, that's the best entrance ever. That's definitely the cutest dog ever. That's the best entrance ever. Hi, Bert. So come with us. Wow, so this is a really pretty entrance already. Beautiful barn doors, so if you can close if it gets, um, you know, cold in Texas. Rarely, but it happens. Rarely, but it totally Cute. does happen. <laughs> um, our barn manager lives in this apartment, which is really nice. But so so our barn that. manager lives in here. Um, what I means? absolutely adore. Um, so, yeah, 
have these the shady side part of the barn has um, okay. you know matching tack trunks and these are the barn colors. Um, I think these are like wraps that we keep in here, standing wraps for the horses, super important when you know after working and um, yeah, really cool. I like them. I like the <laughs> Yeah. It's a very popular like thing in America to get, you know, your barn colors and I like uh, things monograms, notes for the grid, it keeps it out of the way, all the storage. so well looked after. Look at you. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. You wanna, we could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. Okay, so these 
two first mm -hmm. areas are just kind of basic cross ties, and then we have a lot of you know commonly used barn supplies that are you know kind of like a community thing. Uh -huh. um, then we have another set of cross ties over here, but this is kind of our wash. Okay. So, um, and so we have you know a lot. Right, so, so this is the main wash section. So these yes, two so this is the main wash section. The main wash um, you know, we wash mm -hmm. we wash our like horse boots every day. We wash every day. Every so day. Clean. We have a tack cleaning area uh -huh. here where we clean our tack every single Before day. Before it's back in the OCD about mm -hmm. it. It's a full tack <laughs> um, This is yeah. Amazing. The fans up top are amazing. Mm -hmm. They keep the horses nice and cool in the Texas heat. This is really cool. So practical. It's like working, but so neat. Yeah, I'm tired. I love it. I don't mean close, it's just fog. Yeah. And this is just like a little communal area. Yeah, we have a washer and dryer where we, you know, take care of all of our saddle pads, our wraps. I bet they need yeah. washed along with the sweat and the heat. Absolutely. Yeah. We kind of wash it up after every ride. <laughs> Oh, you use cask. I like cask. I love cask. I have two cask helmets in They're here. This is my silver cool. one. I like the this sunshade. This is the one that is cool in it. Yes, and this sunshade is amazing. Mm -hmm. It keeps me, you know, super comfy. I wish I could relate. Heat. I don't have a sunshade because I live in the cold. <laughs> um, oh. What else would you like to see? I don't know. If just have a peek in. This, um, so some of our show supplies are in here. <laughs> So my other cask helmet that I use mm -hmm. just for shows is in here. I have a show one as well. I'll keep that it all neat and tidy. You know, it has like the rose gold on it. Oh, that one's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I like to, you know, mm -hmm. match with <laughs> with other pink things and rose gold things. I have this new halter that I just bought for my horse. Oh, I love um, that. Which I'm thinking about just keeping as a show halter for I her. Would. It's really pretty. Um, you know, I like the brass nameplate detailing mm -hmm. a lot. Cool. We also have, you know, our show boots. I like them. I like the hard. Yeah. They're cool. Having a gray, like the colors just really pop out. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple pairs of stirrups. Fair enough. These free jumps Spurs. are amazing. <laughs> and then just these basic just irons are also great. <laughs> Sorry, we're making you remove everything from your oh, box. <laughs> you are totally good. Sunscreen. Also have sunscreen. I had no idea. It's it's Texas Texas was, I didn't know 70 was like a number for sunscreen. I don't think it's like a real number. I, I, I think it really it. only goes up to 50, but like we market it in the US as <laughs> something that it maybe doesn't totally do. Oh well, every little helps. Yeah. <laughs> I have one. Yeah. That's my chocolate. <laughs> Look how cool all these are. I need it mine's in it. My, it, mine's in our barn color, so that's why it's like kind of a different color than the other ones. It's really nice though. I love the theme. I just bought a new way. Spent a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can all hands if you want to. Hey, tell me what you want to do. We can just laugh if you want to. Um, she's a German horn blood. She's, she's like, 
Yeah, we love the Ger yeah, German and Dutch are both good. Uh, my trainer found her for me. I got her in September. Uh, we do jumpers together. We're showing point eighty and point ninety right now. Um, hoping to move up. She has a lot of really great potential. So she's only you know it's very exciting. Right? Yeah, she's, she's very young, so we're taking it nice and slow. You're very pretty, very friendly, and she's a very sweet horse. Ray and very clean. <laughs> and we're we're very yeah. very particular about keeping her clean. I feel like it wouldn't be allowed to let it get dirty on this yard because it's too clean. <laughs> that I like those stables too. Yeah, really cute view. Yeah. What's the highest you've ever jumped? A uh, meter fifty. Oh my god. It was at gosh. the very end of the grid, so like I don't want to say that that counts, but that hundred like, percent counts. With the same trainer that I work with now with my former horse who's mm -hmm. now retired, we would do a meter forty courses. That's crazy. That's so, pretty yeah. big. It's, That's pretty yeah, big. I am impressed. We're, we're serious about jumping here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. I want to come and train here. <laughs> it's a good size. It's a very nice size. Mm -hmm. I love the little area in the middle you can go and sit. Yeah, it's really nice to like sit in and watch other people ride and... Yeah, it's really cool. It's like a really friendly course. Like, a, like, just like inviting. You know how some jumps don't look inviting? These really yeah. do. Because I've only just got into jumping, so I've been dressage since I was eight years old and I'm like 23 next week, so... That's amazing. Yeah, dressage for a long time. Yeah. But then started jumping in quarantine and I'm obsessed with it. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> I love it. I'm having a lot of fun. It's so, it's like almost a different language from dressage. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Having also yeah. written dressage. <laughs> Shadyside Farm. Thank you to Jill. No problem. And okay. obviously, this is the most beautiful place ever, and I, I'm going to move in. I'm just going to you know, not leave today. <laughs> so, there's that. But thank you so much for taking us on the tour. Absolutely. Cool. So, I'm going to. So link, nice to have you. I'm going to link Jill's Instagram and her TikTok below. And please like and subscribe and drop her a follow.